guys, Anne from the Useless Crafter. I'm gonna be showing you how to do an LOL doll. She's so stinging cute. It's the Sugar Queen. <laughs> All right, so I don't know. I just uploaded this file. I actually just bought the file. Let me show you where I bought the file from. So give me one second, let's get there. So I bought this file from Cool SVG. And they have a lot of, a lot of my LOL doll files are from here. It's so easy to work with. I really do like their files. So anyway, this is where I just bought it from. I just uploaded into Design Space. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I don't know how big she can be. One of the things that I, I mean, first of all, I definitely want to make sure that her face is seamless. And I'm looking at this file and I feel like her face is just wide. So if I want to make sure that this face is no more than 11 and a half inches, right? Um, so let's grab this whole thing and just see. So if I do the width at 12 inches, let's see where that gets us. So let's move this over here. I'm going to scroll out a little bit more so we can really see. All right. Um, let's look at her face. So we're going to have to contour to see because we want to isolate just the face. So let's get rid of the ears. Let's hide all and see what we have. Okay, that leaves us the face. All right, so we still have space. It's 9.8 by 7. So... Um, let's select all. Okay, so she's close. Let's let's get to 30 inches and see what we have. So at 30 inches, let's look at this face. Face is, the face is good. It's 12 inches by 8.4, but you can see over here you don't have an issue. So we can rotate this and um, it should fit on on a regular 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. We would just rotate it. So let me show you what that looks like. Oops, let me grab. Come on face. All right, let me grab the face and I'm just gonna show you really quickly. So you see how it's 12 inches by 8.5. So the way they measure it is the most far left to the most far right, what is that length? And that length is 12.049. So if I go to rotate this, I'm changing my length. Now my length is over here and it goes all the way over here. So I must be, I'm on the wrong version of the canvas. It doesn't upload or it doesn't update the dimensions, but I know it's okay because it doesn't have the warning sign over here. So I'm just gonna, let's undo this real quick. So we're gonna go with her at 30 inches. She's gonna look amazing. Everything is going to be seamless. So, Let's just start undoing it. So here's the white of her eyes. I am going to split this up, but I'm going to keep these little, uh, you know what? Let's just see. <laughs> Let's grab a square. We're going to slice this apart. So right now the eyes are one piece, right? And while it fits, because I can cut 10 inches by 3.3, there's a lot of empty space, right? So I'm going to be separating it so that, um, we can push this up closer to each other. So when you're slicing, whatever you're slicing out needs to be in this new shape and only that piece. So right now that little moon shaped iris is right here. I'm gonna grab this and slice. You can only slice two things at one time. So right now it's my square and my white image. So you see that? I'm gonna take the same square. I'm gonna put it over here. And so you see the white part of the eyes it's completely covered by this new piece. It, you wanna make sure that nothing is in this empty space. Okay, so I'm gonna grab like this. And you notice I did not remove this black piece or the eye, right? As long as your mouse doesn't pick up on it, you're good. Watch, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller, okay? So I'm now using the same piece, right? And I'm gonna put it right here. I'm in a lot of traffic, but as long as my mouse doesn't pick up anything more than that, like this, I can still slice. So your mouse can only pick up two items. Now we need to clean up everything. We don't need our slice results, so all of these gray items, you can just move over here and grab it all and delete. So now this, see when we go to 
When we go to cut this later, I can put this in here, this, I can move it over. So you can see before it was like, what, nine inches by four inches. And now instead, I could probably find scrap paper, right? That's four inches by four inches. And that's why I like to do that. Okay, let's look to see what we have on here. Oh, so this, I, oh my. We're gonna do some welding because do you see how many pieces that is? I'm not, I don't want that. So let's move that aside for now. I don't wanna deal with that right now. Let's look at our purple hair, the bangs, right? So the bangs, one piece, two, three, four, five. I like how this is all connected. It still has the little cuts. It still gives you the, the illusion of little wisps of the bangs but this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna connect some of this and let's, you know what, I'm gonna zoom in so we can see what we really have here. Okay, so this up here, this is nice how it's connected, but I'm gonna connect this and this. <clears throat> I'm gonna make this purple a little bit better. So right now, let's bring in some circles. Okay, so here's one. And um, you know what, I'm gonna duplicate this so that I can compare it for you, okay? So let's look at that. Um, unlock it so that you can get it really narrow. So all I wanna do is I wanna connect these two. So instead of having two pieces, that's one piece. Let's duplicate that circle, move it over here. I want the same thing here. I don't want to lose all the details. I still want, you know, if that little sliver right there is good, I'll keep it there. But I'm going to keep duplicating. This is going to become one piece and these four pieces are going to be connected and they're going to be one. Okay. I'm going to duplicate that and put it right here. Okay. So now I'm gonna grab all of this and I'm gonna weld it. Okay, and then I'm gonna zoom back out for a second. I'm gonna put it back so you can see what that looks like. So you can't tell me that now this looks weird. Right? I mean, the whole, she, she's cute and funky. The fact that her hair up here is like this, it doesn't matter, right? It, that doesn't take away from the image, but it helps us because now instead of the seven pieces up here, it's actually only three pieces, one, two, three. We're gonna do the same thing with the bangs. The bangs are gonna be one piece. This section right here is gonna be one. All right, so same thing. Let's bring in our circles. Oops, okay. So I'm gonna make this super small. I'm gonna connect it just right here. This space right here will still remain open. So it's gonna give you that illusion of, you know, really, really cute hair. I'm gonna do that up there, duplicate. I'm gonna do it up here, duplicate. I'm gonna do it right here because it's already so close together. And then let's see, do I need one more piece? I don't think I do, but let's move this out. Nope, I don't need that piece. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab, oops, shoot. Let me undo that for a second. Get that back. Okay. Um, let me delete that. Okay, I'm gonna weld it. Okay, so I'm gonna put it back, okay? This is my new piece. It's now in three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So her hair is in eight pieces. That's still a lot of pieces, but I feel like there's nothing more that we can do. I don't necessarily want to connect this. Maybe I do. I, I think it would look okay connected, but I'm gonna keep it like this, eight pieces, okay? This is what it was before. So eight, before it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So cut it down by half. So can you imagine 
taping and keeping track of 16 pieces, right? Or you can have this. So this is what it looks like. I mean, honestly, after a while, you're not gonna be able to tell which one is which. I mean, you can count so you'll know, but this doesn't distract from the, from the picture. All right, so let's delete this, let's look at this. Now, we're gonna wanna separate these pieces out though, right? Um, gosh, I'm so tempted to connect that, but I don't wanna do that. <laughs> Let's get our square in and let's slice out these pieces up here so that they're separated. Slice. She's going to look really, really cute with glitter cardstock. Um, she's going to look adorable. All of the LOL dolls that I've done are super, super cute in person. They're super cute. In design space <laughs> so of course they're gonna be cute in person right all right let's remove that this we're gonna delete and so see these two pieces are moving now let's get this piece off by itself This piece is a little bit long. Let's get out the side pieces. I'm gonna rotate it so that I can get this piece completely by itself. And then do the same on this side. Now I have this piece. We should get that out. Okay, so let's do this. Get rid of your slice results. We don't need the gray pieces. Okay, but I need a bigger piece to get this. So I'm just gonna delete this. Bring in a new square. And I think the square, I can probably get it. Remember, I can't get into this space. What I want is to get this piece completely in my square, which I think I got, but let's see. Yep, good job. <laughs> get rid of your slice results. This piece is now separated. We could do this piece as well. All right, so I'm gonna take this down like that. Oops, geez. Let me undo that. Let's slice this out. And then we're moving on. Okay, so this is good. I'm gonna delete this, delete this. And then now our purple is completely separated. All right, let's look at this skirt. How did they do this skirt? This skirt is 10, 11 inches by 4.7. Oh, all these little pieces down here. We're going to need to connect it. I don't want those to be separated. Um, the bow, I'm, you know, I'm going to attach a little piece right here so that this bow is connected to the actual skirt because this piece is actually very compact, right? It's 11 inches by almost five inches, but there's really not wasted space. Everything is tightly in there. So I'm tempted to make this whole skirt one piece if I can. I'm going to connect this bow to here, this bow to down here, this part down here, this right here, it's so close together. And then this right here, this is all going to be one piece, but it's still going to look like little bows in here. It's still going to look like little frilly stuff over here. Um, we just got to make it work. So I'm going to put that aside. Let's look at this. Um, not much we can do here. I would just keep it as is, so that's good. Here are my blues. My blues, I'm going to slice because I don't want to keep, I don't want to have that empty space right here. So let's move this square down and slice out the blue eyes. So we have a lot of work to do with the skirt and the, the flower headband because we wanna make sure that those are in easy pieces because you don't wanna be dealing with all these cut pieces, especially the bottom part right here, these frills. Okay, let's see what else. We have the face. Okay, so the 
face. Oh, the eyebrows are so cute. The eyebrows go on top, okay. Um, same thing with the eyebrows. Let's separate them. And I'm tempted to make the eyebrows the same color as the hair. I'm gonna grab these two and slice. And the way you can easily do that is, let's do this, let's get rid of this first. And let's go to the color sync tab. So I'm gonna grab, let's see, what is in this purple? So the bangs are actually the ones that are different colors. So I'm going to move the bangs. No, wait, those aren't the bangs. What is that? Oh, that's the skirt. The skirt is a different color than the bangs. Here are the eyebrows. I'm gonna stick the eyebrows the same as the hair. So that's how it's easy to move. Um, yeah, this is kind of a lot of colors for me. So I'm tempted to move this bow to be the same as, um, as her skirt. So we have two types of purple and one pink. This is her lips. Hmm. Okay, her lips can be a different color, that's fine. All right, I think we're good here with colors. All right, let's get out of here. Let's look at this face. So I always like to connect this right here so that I can contour this because we know we're gonna be slicing her up. She's 30 inches, she's gonna be big. So she might have slices, seams going through the eyes. So I wanna make sure that we have good circles for the eyes so it doesn't look, um, so we don't see the seams. Because the eyes just have this and this. There's a lot of empty black space in there. So if there was a seam running through, it would be really noticeable. So what you wanna do is, let's bring in a circle. We need to enclose these eyes so that we can contour it out, okay? And what I mean by that is you're gonna end up duplicating this. Oops, sorry, wrong button. We wanna duplicate this first. So let's go to layers and duplicate. And we wanna change this one to black. And let's get some clean working space here, okay. I want to enclose this though, so let's grab this circle and make it really small. Oops, and kind of put it right there so that it closes up our circle. So I'm gonna grab, the, um, let's grab this circle and duplicate because we want to do it on this side as well. Okay, so grab this and weld. So when we weld it, we close up this space. So watch, now when we go to contour, we can hide all, and it's gonna give us a solid face. We want this because we want this to be black. And let me send it to the back, so that if there were seams running through the eyes, the face is gonna go on top of this black completely, so you're not gonna see the seams and then you're gonna put the eyes in and they're gonna look amazing. And her face is gonna be so cute. It's gonna be seamless. Everything in that face is going to be seamless. All right, so we're good there. Here are her cute little lips. We'll move it over. So what do we have left? Let's zoom out. I think we just have, okay, wait. So we actually have her whole outfit. Okay, got the outfit and the skirt. Let's deal with the skirt. So let's zoom in. There, that gives us a good view of the skirt. So, all right, let's bring in some circles and get moving. So here we go, we're gonna make it really small and we're gonna duplicate it. So here's my first circle, I'm going to put it right here. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So I'm gonna grab this and weld it. So you see the bow, it still has its shape, but it's no longer its own piece. So I'm gonna move this and maybe put it right here. I'm gonna duplicate. Um, I, I might just leave this by itself because I don't wanna change the shape of that. But this I'm gonna connect right here. Duplicate. This, I'm gonna connect right here. So this bottom line is gonna be 
one or maybe two pieces. I say two because I don't remember how big this is. Okay, it's 11. All right, it's gonna be one piece. <laughs> Unless it gets kind of weird right here. It's looking a little weird, but I wanna make, You can make these thinner if you want to, or smaller, but it's such, the skirt in itself with these little things down here, they're such weird shapes anyway. I don't think it's gonna look weird that we have some circles, you're, and you're not gonna notice it when we weld it. So let's weld it right now, just to give you an idea of what it looks like. I'm gonna make that one smaller, okay. So I'm gonna grab all of this and weld. Let me change it back to the other color. So you see this right here? I don't think it looks that weird because it's not really that different from all these other funky shapes, right? Like this doesn't look normal, right? So this is now all connected one piece. This right here is one piece, this right here. So you wanna continue connecting it. Um, let's see. We don't have to connect this right here, but if we did, then that would connect the top to this big piece and then connect this piece here. So we're just going through and connecting. It's a lot of connecting, so I'm I'm gonna leave it here. I'm not gonna make you guys watch that. Let's save it for now. Sugar, oops. Sugar Queen, 30 inches. You never know when something's gonna save or not save. Um, okay, I'm gonna get rid of this. So you wanna continue doing this to your comfort level. I'm gonna be connecting it so that it's just almost one piece, I think, and we're gonna wanna do the same with this. So let's look at the flowers. It's a lot of pieces. Um, so I would, yeah, I would connect maybe up here maybe down here, maybe not connect all of it, but so that it's just a few pieces though. Like this rose is kind of nice because this piece is big. So if I connected this to this one right here and then connected these two right here, it would still look like a rose, but it's so much easier to handle. So I would do that here. Um, but I would connect just half the roses because look, it's, um, 13.5 by a lot. Okay, so see how this is connected, but this is two pieces. I would probably put a little circle and connect that so that the two arm pieces are one and then the big middle piece. Let's look at her shoes. So her laces, I would connect the shoes as well. I would just do one little connection right here. So this little piece is still a gap. And then I would connect the laces maybe right here and right here. So it would be two pieces instead of one, two, three, four, four pieces. And then, or actually connect it right here too. So this is, you know, you wanna connect where you can and then you would slice out the shoes. So I'm going to do a few roses and then I'm not gonna finish it, okay? All right, so let's bring in a circle. Let's look at this big piece. So if it's all connected right here, that's three pieces that are connected. So I would do that. That connects the three and this connects this big thing. So then I can connect maybe this right here and this one to right here. Then all of a sudden, all these pieces is actually one piece. So let's do that. Let's grab this circle and duplicate. So we're gonna go from a lot of pieces down to one right here. So what did I say we were gonna do right here? <laughs> and make it smaller and duplicate that. So those two are connected. I'm gonna connect these two together. All right, I think that connects the whole thing, the whole top half of this rose.
So it still looks like a rose, right? But this top piece is here. It goes all the way around, connects down here, it connects over here. This is all one piece. Trust me that it will make your life so much easier, but it still, to me, it still looks like a flower. If you just went and glanced at this, this, this rose does not stand out any more than these four. All right, okay, so that's what I would do there. I would do the same thing here, connect this, like I said, and I would connect the shoes. All right, I'm not gonna do all that connecting because it's the same thing over and over. What I'm going to do though is, let's save it one more time. I'm gonna slice this up with you guys and then I'm gonna let you go. <laughs> and then we're actually gonna make it. So that'll be a different video in itself. All right, so let's move this aside for now. Let's look at this girl. Okay, and I'm gonna zoom out. So she is 30 inches by 15. So if you think about your cardstock that's 12 by 12, you can technically cut 11 and a half by 11 and a half, right? But I don't like dealing with half inches, so let's just say you can cut 11 by 11. So the fact that she's 15 inches, it's gonna be 11 plus 11 is 22. And that doesn't matter whether it's 11 or 11 and a half. At 14.7, I need two columns, right? Then at 30 inches, I'm gonna need three. So it's gonna be 11, 11 plus 11. That's 33 inches. So I'm gonna need six squares to cover this up so that I can slice it up into pieces that your Cricut can cut and then we'll piece it back together. So let's bring in our first square. <laughs> Oops. Okay, here we go. Here's our first square, right? Let's change the size to 11 inches, hit tab. Put it just somewhere around here, okay? Then we're going to, I literally have a spider coming down and I'm gonna get it before it bites me. <laughs> Sorry, okay. <laughs> Um, okay, so you're gonna go to the position feature and you're gonna round to the nearest whole number. So 13.6 becomes 14, 1.2 becomes one. Oops, hold on, what happened here? 14 and one. 14 and one, there we go. <laughs> Here's our first square, let me get rid of this. I don't know how that came in there. So what we're saying is 14, we're saying that's the X coordinate. The X coordinate is the one that runs across. So go over 14 units, go down one unit. Here's the beginning of our square. We're gonna duplicate this square, <clears throat> put it really close to the first one, and then change this from 25.1 to 25. 1.028 is one. And let's look at this. This is at 14, right? So it starts at 14, the paper is 11 inches. So 14 plus 11 is 25, this is at 25. So we know that they're totally flushed with each other. Hit your shift key, go over to your right hand side panel, grab both squares and duplicate. Because we know that set is already flushed, we're gonna get this set to be flushed with the top set. So put it really close, then 14.028 becomes 14, 12.2 becomes 12, and then we're gonna duplicate that one. And we're just building our six flushed squares. And then this becomes 14 and 23. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna scroll down to the bottom to get our black background, and then select it and arrange send to the front. And now we wanna make sure that where we're slicing, it makes sense. And what I mean by that is, for instance, I'm just gonna show you something silly, okay? Let's say we did this. You see this square right here? It's gonna slice through and you're gonna have this little piece hanging out by itself and this little piece hanging out by itself. We don't want that. We want six big pieces that are easy to manage. So you just wanna make sure when you're putting this down and maybe we slice, you know what? I wonder if we could slice the legs. Okay, so let's put this here. Uh, let's move this up so that we don't have any Hanging pieces. Um, okay, I think that's good. Uh, no, okay, hold on. Let's see if this can fit. I don't think so. Darn. I wanted to get the legs together, but I'm thinking maybe I would do something like this. 
then that piece will be one piece by itself, okay? So this looks good to me, so let's start slicing away. We're gonna slice up here. Then we're gonna slice this square right in the middle. Slice the legs. Slice this side. And then slice this. Okay, so we sliced all the way around. Let's look at our pieces now, okay? So I'm gonna move them over, over here. I'm gonna keep it in order so we can see what it looks like, right? These are all nice big chunks. are together and even this piece is not that bad three inches by one and a half that's gonna be an easy chunk to keep track of and there you have it so you have five big pieces with one small one okay let's get rid of this and we're done so I'm gonna save this I still need to go back and do the work I'm gonna let you go but I'm gonna keep recording if you want to stay on and see it, I think I will do that. Um, although I find that it's gonna be really boring. <laughs> so actually, I'm talking myself out of it. I'm gonna let you go and I will see you next time. But give me feedback. You know, maybe next time you tell me, you know, I wanna see it from beginning to end, I will record it all the way to the end. Although most of my videos do go to the end. Um, okay. And if you have a special request, you can always email me at anne, A-N, at theuselesscrafter.com. See you next time.